Eric, and this is my Hamburg WTS 2016 race report. I had an awesome swim this year, coming out of the water in 7th place, then unfortunately had a bad transition. I came out of the transition in 17th place. The last two years I've missed the lead pack by near seconds, so this was super important to me to get out of transition hot and make it into that lead pack. The first kilometer out of transition here is about 1-2% to 2 uphill, which means it almost always breaks the pack up right here. The swim is usually super close, but if you're not completely on the power, looking forward, you're not going to make it in. The mistake I've made in the last couple years is looking over my shoulder to, for help, and uh, that little break in focus is all it took. So right here, I still haven't quite made it into the pack, but about 400 meters later, right here, just before we make the left turn, head back towards the village, uh, I make it in, Richard Murray makes it in, Mario Mola's there, so all the main players are in. That's actually an amazing uh, swim for Murray, considering that he had broke his collarbone only a couple months ago. Anyway, not having him or Mola in the chase pack meant it wasn't going to come get us. Hamburg is known for being a super punchy bike ride, as you can see here. There's a 180 degree corner, a whole bunch of 90 degree corners, and uh, that was just made super interesting this year by the addition of rain. Right here in the third lap, it starts to rain, and you can see Tommy Zafaris almost goes down um, on that corner, and that was really a result of people uh, breaking at different rates, kind of coming into corners, some break early, some break late. Right here, Pozzati goes down from Italy, Somebody goes down behind me from Spain and it is just carnage. Um, trying to adjust real time for how you know the conditions are changing and everything is, is always a trick and these roads in Hamburg are super slippery. The, uh, the problem that it was causing for me is that it meant the sprints out of every corner were super long and hard and um, that's something I just haven't been able to work much on with the injury I've had over the last couple months. And uh, I had to go more with the strategy I used on this corner where I sat down through the whole thing, kind of stayed on the power, and uh, didn't have a, such a high burst. So that'll be something that I work on moving forward for the next race. Here we are, um, about 300 meters coming into transition. This is always a super fast run-in. And with the rain, it got a little sketchy as people waited to the last second to take off their shoes and then have to slam on the brakes to jump off their bikes. I think that was job for every Portugal going down and a couple other people slid into the barriers as well. I came off in about 8th place, had a good transition, and uh, for a certain amount of the run I think I was running around 11th. The important thing to me was just to run as well as I could, feel like I was in my technique the whole way, and bring a good effort. That brought me home in 24th place, and I pretty much accomplished every goal that I had for the day. Thanks for watching.